This video is going to cover how to add images and media to the gallery page. First and foremost, make sure that you're signed in. Um, and once you're signed in, I like to just visit the site um, and go to the gallery page. You'll notice at the top of the page it says edit. Um, once you hit edit page, you'll see this environment. Um, this is the back admin of that exact page. Um, I've already built out an area that's going to house the gallery. So you'll notice that here in the center of the screen, scroll down a bit, and you'll see this box. You can hit um, this green pencil. At this point, these are some areas and settings you can change if you want. I have auto, I've, I've pretty much done it for you, but if you'd like, um, the gallery type, um, which is the most universal, the one it's set to, auto rotate for how many seconds it stays. Um, also where it's pulling from, keep this media library. <clears throat> and then when you want to add images, um, you click on this and the plus sign and it's going to ask you do you want to upload them because if they don't exist that's probably most likely what you're going to do so you'll select files and then it will ask you where the files are you can select them and start to upload them um, stock photos you can disregard these are just some things that came with the site and then media library are images that we've already used in the past if you may want to use you just easily select them and then you would hit add images in the bottom right hand corner um, Another neat tool, once you're back there, is that right now I have it set to large. So that way when someone's on it, they'll see a nice big large image. If you want it to be smaller, you can type in here medium, large, or full. I have it large, but you can play around with that. Also too, what happens when the image is clicked on. Right now I just have link to larger image. You can have none. Disregard pretty photo, and a custom link would be if you wanted to go somewhere that's not um, already set. Um, also, the CSS has already been set that just means how it animates and comes in and once you're done with these settings it's always imperative to hit save changes and then also make sure you hit update once you hit update it will automatically take effect now just a cool little tool too if you guys want if you guys this is one area image slider if you guys want to have additional ones it's as easy as hitting this copy button and you'll notice it adds another one I can hit preview in the preview now you'll see there'll be two galleries boom, boom, boom. so either way you can have some fun with it I'm gonna leave it set right now where there's just one and you guys can come in here and edit that but as of right now you'll notice the page is live and it's just waiting for you guys to upload the imagery I hope this was helpful